Hi everyone, so anyone who purchases an Android smartphone at some point will be will start looking for a method to root their Android device and uh, after you root your device you may be wondering what should I install next? So in this video I'm going to give you 5 suggestions on what kind of apps you want to install to your Android phone that will be useful, that will be worth having your Android device rooted. So let's begin. So let us start off with the app Super User. Obviously this will be the first app that you need to have after rooting your device because this is the app that controls the access you provide to certain apps. With this app you can grant certain apps uh, access and you can deny it as well as manage. Both of these apps, uh, sorry, uh, you can use Super User as well as Super SU. Both of these apps are free in the Google Play Store so in case so if in case the root method for device uh, doesn't provide you with a super user app you can download this from the play store so as you can see i'm currently showing you the super user app there is also super su which you can find in here all of these like i said are being offered for free so you can just go here and install them in case you're unsure if your device is app uh, is rooted you can type in root checker this is also a free app which gives you information whether your device is rooted or not so next on the list is BusyBox. Now BusyBox is a collection of Linux utilities. It brings you all of the Unix commands to your Android since it is based on Linux. BusyBox is required for certain applications, for example, Metamorph, Wi-Fi kill, or special operations which you use in titanium backup. BusyBox is free to download with many installers available in the Play Store. I would highly recommend to install the the installer by Steven Sterickson in the Google Play Store. Uh, having BusyBox is a installed is surely a must if you plan on using root applications because like I said a lot of a lot of applications require to have BusyBox installed for their operations. Basically download this installer from the Google Play Store and at the bottom here as you can see have an install button. Simply press it and it should install it to your device. Next we've got Titanium Backup. This app is being offered for both free and for money. The free version is enough if you want to backup apps if you want to use more features, you can purchase the Pro version for just $5.99. Titanium Backup is the most powerful backup tool for Android. With Titanium Backup, you can backup your apps and data, both combined or separately. You can restore, freeze or even set user apps as system apps and many more things. So let's do a little test. Let us head into the Backup and Restore section here and as you can see, here it lists all of the installed applications including the system apps and the user apps. Now let's do a test in the Backup and Restoring. So let's say you are going to watch a custom ROM and you want to save your data from your Angry Birds and uh, you want to then restore it. Simply head into Angry Birds here and as you can see now, you can just tap on Backup and it will begin backing up your app as well as its save games. So all your completed levels will be saved and then restored. So you just wait for the backup to be done and it will take you back to the screen. Once it is done, you should also get a notification in your notification screen telling you that the backup is complete. And as you can see now here, it says one backup. So anytime now, you can tap on the restore button and it will restore the app's backup. You can also anytime delete this backup Anyways, enough for the backups, let us head into the other section. Now here, we've got, as you can see, special features. Now you can force close the app in case it is causing you problems. You can assign labels, send it as backup, open system details. You can view the market info and at the bottom here, as you can see, you can also convert this to a system app. So I can't really go into detail about much of the features of the tenant backup as it has a lot of features. I just show you the basics. Next we've got no free CPU control. Now this is a tool that you can use on device to change the CPU frequencies as well as the governors. With this app you can increase the max frequencies of your device uh, which allows you to boost up the performance or you can scale it down if you want to save some battery. If you happen to be on a custom kernel that supports overclocking you can even increase the max frequencies here. Now as you can see at the moment I am not on such kernel, I cannot overclock it at the moment. The max is just 1.7 GHz. And lastly, you can enable this option here to have these frequencies and settings applied upon boot. And on the top right corner, as you can see, it is taking you to a stats page in which it shows you uh, how much of the frequencies are mostly used. So the mostly used one is the uh, 810 MHz, as you can see. You also have some options. When you go to the settings here, you can change the theme, if you don't like dark, you can put it to light, light and dark, and some other stuff in here. 
and lastly having a root browser app is also a must in this in this video i'm presenting you a root browser this is made by the popular developer jeremy it is a file manager made specially for the root users with this app you can browse android's file systems you can cut copy cut paste open and edit files you can set their permissions and many more this app is considered a good a good free alternative of the popular app root explorer as it costs money with the help of this app you can pull out system files with your system partitions and modify them then put them back you can also share these system apps with certain friends to test them on their devices if they need and so on so let's do a little test so for example let's say i want to copy some app from system i'm going to head into system app as you can see here i have all of the ap key files displayed and let's say i want the assistant menu ap key you can one press you can copy then press the back button let's head into storage and as you can see this is my uh, SD card storage so you can just go here there we go done and now when I enter my files there we go as you can see the assistant menu AP key is here so yeah, this app functions completely free, you just need to download a few files when you first install it and that is all. And there you have it, 5 useful Android applications for rooted users, all of them are being offered for free and they are highly recommended to start off with. Thanks for watching and goodbye.